منك يا خير الكفيلي ما في مثيل في النهار عباس يا عباس يا بالفضيل والنماس عباس يا عباس يا بالفضيل والنماس منك يا خير الكفيلي ما في مثيل في النهار عباس يا عباس يا بالفضيل والنماس عباس يا مثيلك بالوفا وفي عالمي ليثار مبحر بطودة وما كفى وقدم بلا مقدار ما في مثيلك بالوفا وفي عالمي ليثار مبحر بطودة وما كفى قدم بلا مقدار بإحساس يبغى إحساس يا أبو الفضيل والنوماس بإحساس يبغى إحساس يا أبو الفضيل والنوماس انك يا خير الكافيلي ما في مثيل اشهد ان السلام عليك يا فاطمة الزهراء السلام عليك يا حسن المجتبى السلام على الحسين وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أنصار الأمي الفضل العباس وأختك زينب وبنتك سكينة جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, we are here, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are sitting in front of this noble lady, Zainab, salamullahi alayhi. Subhanallah, it's Zainab who made us to come here. Zainab who, before, when people thought that they have finished the family of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, and they left Zainab, that is the time when they actually preserved the family of Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. It is Zainab sallallahu alayhi wa came to her and because of her we are going inshallah to be closer to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and by being closer to Imam Hussein alayhi salam we'll be closer to Imam Hassan and Amirul Mu'mineen and Fatima Zahra and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam it is Zainab who actually preserved the religion of Islam this lady, she was 
the noble lady. She was the one actually who preserved Islam in its true sense. What Zainab saw during her life, the calamities, the problems, no any lady could bear that. Beginning from Karbala, seeing her brother, the family members of the Holy Prophet, one by one being killed, slaughtered, their heads were choked, but she couldn't lose her touch. She couldn't lose her senses. She carried that flag of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad in front of the men who actually some of, some of those men decided to change from the camp of Imam Hussein to camp of Yazid. But this noble lady actually she managed not only to carry the true message of Islam in Karbala, but even outside Karbala, in the streets of Kufa, when people were parading there, they were paraded and people were standing left and right, pelting them with rubbish, using all kinds of foul language against the family of Rasulullah, Zainab stood firm and she actually carried her head up to say that no, we are not the way you think. We are the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was Zainab actually with the family member of Rasulullah when they were, they were brought here in the city of Damascus in front of Yazid, in front of all those people after many days of hardships. But she managed actually to stand firm to carry the message of Islam, true Islam to people. So for us to come here, actually this is a blessing. This is to say that we are with her, with Imam Hussein, with Imam Hassan, with Fatima Zahra, with Amirul Mu'minin alayhi salam, with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli Muhammad wa Muhammad. According to one scholar, he says that when people buried Zainab here, there was no town, there was nothing actually here. It was a, a town where people used to come until five in the evening. Then they would leave to go to the city of Damascus because there was nothing here. But after some times, according to the tradition of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi salam, he says that the graves of our lovers are, our graves are in the hearts of our lovers. Our graves are in the hearts of our lovers. And this actually should show us. People decided to come here and they decided to build this beautiful place. And today, Alhamdulillah, you can see people from all parts of the world are here to pay their visit, to pay their tribute to Zainab Salamullah. By coming here, actually, we are doing a lot. And that is to say to ourselves, Yes, we know and we recognize the position of Zainab. And not only that, we follow the true teachings of Islam. And here, brothers and sisters, we are going, inshallah. It is the, the place if you have your hajat, you want to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the place where we go there and we forget ourselves. We remember those people who sent us here. Those who couldn't come because of one reason or the other, we go there believing that yes, we are in the closest point to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because Zainab actually left behind everything. She didn't worry for herself, not even for her children, but she was worrying for the sake of Islam. People like her, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept her dua and our duas will be accepted if we go through her to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah to accept our amal.